Okay, thank you, we're live. And uh, welcome to my world. This is a tease out from uh, yesterday's lesson. Uh, we, we experimented with 30 minutes and um, I don't know if people fell asleep in the middle of it or not, but the, I, the idea is that there are a number of things that get revealed in the course of time. And it doesn't hurt because it's the internet. You can take the, the video and go back through it and find other parts that will help uh, guide you in a path of uh, alignment. Because we're, we're trying to, to tune into a greater universe than the one we possess. Uh, the thing is that we have a number of things on the plate. I want to clarify a couple things from the tape yesterday. The first being that it was this fellow Joshua Holmes that I was wrongly placing in the area of uh, Chicago. Um, it is the right place for Barack Obama. He came out there in Chicago and everybody went hooray, hooray, hooray. And now they're doing hooray, hooray, hooray down in Texas. Uh, remember Waco, Texas? Um, this guy Joshua Holmes is down there claiming he is Jesus in the flesh. Uh, people are saying that and he's not denying it. So he's there in Texas. Okay, so there's somebody over there that's counterfeiting Christ. And, uh, somebody's going to just walk through this. Morning, 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 the Twin Tower is walking through. And we're still alive. Um, and what happened with the, um, the Wake of Texas washout uh, is this David Koresh site, assembled a bunch of people, isolated himself, became their, their great leader, and the great leader would protect them. And um, they just focused in on him. They didn't know the Bible very well. And he claimed to know it more than them, so they just kind of went along with that logic. And um, the uh, end result was a uh, destruction and annihilation for that. Likewise, what's happened down there uh, in, in Texas now with this Joshua Holmes character, he jumps around, flings around a suit of some kind, and um, people are just going crazy bits around him. Uh, so that's the biggest correction I wanted to make. Not that he doesn't exist, but that he's existing all over in Texas. Um, he's something people should be careful about because, you know, if they're not aware of what the Bible says, they're right to this New Age spiritism, uh, New Age theology. Uh, now the guy down there in Oz knows more about the Bible, and um, he's just a funnel uh, with the earpiece, and it's a funnel, and the, the demons are speaking through his head, and... Um, he just, he bleats it out, he doesn't know any better, he just uh, says what they tell him, you know, he just, he's just channeling whatever uh, is deceiving people, because it's a big deception. Um, I did download, I was able to secure his testament uh, video, his testimony video, and I will have to edit it uh, for length and um, content. A fair use act um, claim is being risen here, so if he runs he wants to remove his evidence, he can't do it from my uh, creative create presentation of it. Listen, he's the counterfeit, folks. I don't want to minimize this. There's a lot of counterfeits out there. To, but he was Jehovah's Witness. Oh, and welcome through. Um, he was a Jehovah's Witness teacher um, in his own world and was disfought or disfellowshipped through his own sin and started to make big excuses for it. Um, and now he's assembled a group of people who are, are just as deceived as he is. Um, I, I tell you, people follow around an Ekin car, I and mean, that's deception, that's soul travel, and, and uh, there's this idea of this Christ consciousness that floats through all this stuff. They have to point to, to, to Jesus as a as a luminary, but then they steal the light and make these applications to themselves. It's a false messiah complex. And people that don't Yellow know sheet. the scripture and know what the scripture teaches are even No, you tricked me already. I don't want it. Are already misled um, and easily deceived because they don't know the genuine. They haven't worked with the genuine. They didn't learn the genuine. Uh -huh. And so the counterfeit shows up. And, you know, it's more exciting. Now, here's where it gets interesting with this Jehovah's Witness theology. They think that it's Michael is the first created uh, entity um, was actually... Enjoy the enjoy your, your walk. So uh, they they posit that Mike and Michael. Now none of them were there. Okay, none of them were there. Child Tazy, whatever, Russellites, none of them were there. 
So it's all hypocrisy because it's all speculation. Because none of them were there. The only definite evidence they've got is this book, which posits Michael as the archangel, assuming human flesh form. And then when the crucifixion occurred, he reascends and reassembles himself as Michael the archangel. Well, it was Michael the archangel as a traitor to the throne. And Michael's not a traitor. It's a subterfuge of the gospel story. And it posits Michael as an angel or any angel. This day, but it's Luciferian's a plot. It's a Luciferian plot. The one is it puts Lucifer here on the planet <coughs> um, and gets people, you know, great signs and wonders, labels him, you know, this Jesus fella, and disappears. Well, he's always kind of wanted to swing that deal on planet Earth. Jesus already did it, so he can't do that except by counterfeit and subterfuge. So there's your man of sin down there in Australia talking about emotional hurt and injury and damages and all the rest of the stuff. And I have no question that he went through some kind of victorious, uh, vicarious, if he understood the real Jesus, and I don't think he did from his book, um, he didn't go through a vicarious atonement. Sometimes that's something that people describe and um, it puts them in touch through, a, through a, a work of the Spirit. But not in this case, folks. Just don't be warned from me. Do your research. Look at the results. Evil fruit from an evil root. Now, I want to address a second problem we had from our initial conversation. And I want to say something as an apology. Uh, the Lord God himself is known by many names. Many times have confessed him as the Lord of all. Now the thing is that different people have different dialects and different languages. The word Adonai is out there. And it stands as evidence against all of the nations and all the nations' gods because the Lord is Adonai. I said his name, Yahweh, yesterday, uh, Y-H-V-H, and I've just pronounced it again. It's holy. I don't say it very much. I prefer Yesha. I prefer Yesha because he's the Lamb of God. He shed his blood. And he's the Passover Lamb, and he's the, um, the goat of atonement, if you will. I think they had two goats on the Day of Atonement. And I don't know which one you want to pick for, for Yeshua, but uh, Jesus, you can call him the Lord of glory. You can call him the Son of God. Um, he's the only begotten Son of God. Uh, he pre-existed creation. He's the Word of God. He's what God used to create everything else. So, Lucifer didn't create anything except the building of this world. And he wants to divide people. He wants to get the sons of Adam at war with each other, but he's the common enemy. And until we understand who the commander in chief is, we have a common enemy amongst each other. Now, uh, you know, one of the other things I want to clarify is I made a mistake. Uh, anyway, what came out of my mouth was Jehazi. Jehazi. But it should have been Jehoshaphat. I'm still having trouble learning how to spell that. Um, but other people have pronunciation problems with it. So it shouldn't be a problem. Rather, if I have a little bit of a pronunciation problem, um, this dirt suit doesn't really work very well all of the time. I expect that when I get the glorified body, um, It'll be worth the wait. But in the meantime, I'm in no rush. I'm still conveying truth in whatever frail form I am. 
and I do appreciate those that uh, have tuned in and are watching to this extent. Uh, how long have we been uh, filming today? Ten minutes. Oh, good. Uh, excuse me, cameraman, do you want to identify yourself? Yes, I am George Polos, the cameraman and the choreographer. Very good. Thank you. Uh, a, a succinct answer, and um, that, that, that does exactly what uh, I want to do because it adds a, a mark of genuine uh, communion here because this is me just speaking into a selfie camera. And then this is actually interacting with uh, the folks I happen to be living, traveling through time with at this point. But even, you know, even when I said about opening the, that eastern gate to me, the Shushan gate, the Mercy gate, opening that to me uh, as a Gehazi, as a messenger of Elisha, uh, so much more Jehoshaphat, who wanted to restore Israel uh, to a righteous relationship with Hashem. And you notice I say Hashem. It's the language that people understand. Got, I use the word God. I use the word Yesha. He's a creative agent. What's the name of the Lord, George? I believe it's Jehovah. Okay, well, guess what? What? Uh, his label is Almighty God. Uh, guess what? In the, in the New Testament, the name of Yesha is called Almighty God. So guess who you just puffed up to, uh, to an authority figure? The resurrected Christ. Put that right over in between your ears. You know, that'll activate you in some sense. Um, when people start to understand the activation principle of the world, the little humane bit, uh, this is probably a good place. We're, we're about 10 minutes into this thing. Um, changing gears. When God, if you believe in this stuff, created Adam and Eve, they were perfect in Eden. The garden didn't have anything that would be considered a weed. Um, there weren't any, uh, any real problems with the thing. And he needed a man to tend the thing. He, uh, God needed to help. Believe that. You know, let's stretch your imagination a little further. He wanted help. He needed help. Could he do it himself? Um, I don't know. He could have made an aquarium and, and then it would have been boring without fish. So, if you tease the story out, he, he put all kinds of stuff cannabis, carrots, broccoli, cauliflower, all kinds of stuff in there. And then uh, needed somebody to supervise the efforts from the ground or whatever until the, until the thing that Adam was created, he was his helper and uh, they were humane that's the primary thing to me they were humane and perfect and, and I think beautiful and I think if people saw uh, Adam walking down the street, they'd go yeah, respect, it just, he would just emanate that kind of um, uh, special Quality. They would just look up to him. There's a word in, in, in Yiddish, I think, is he'd be a match, okay? Just a real super, not a superhuman per person being of any kind, but, but he would just be uh, an up and kind of fellow. And Eve, too, she'd be beautiful and humane and everything else, and probably photogenic, both of them were. I mean, if you saw either one of them, you'd stop the car and get out and follow them down the street or turn off the internet and quit phone hunting and all that stuff because those would be the, the counterfeit. All of a sudden you would see the genuine and the counterfeit would reveal itself and it's all its decadence. And you'd just turn it off collectively. Every single one of you would turn it off and um, follow these two folks down the street if they showed up. Well, they aren't going to be showing up. They lost that glory as reflected being of the creator of the Holy One. Like they were the mirror and Hashem could look at his face in them. And what happened was they cracked the mirror when they sinned. And that passed on to all generations. 
and that's why we reflect God so poorly. Now that was the first Adam, and incidentally, their, their first children, their children never saw Adam or Eve in their glorified state because before they had children, they lost their glory. So that is a tragic status on a human being. It's corruption all over the, 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 the face of the earth. <clears throat> God in his mercy brought us the second Adam. In the, in the scriptures, according to the gospel, is in the form of Jesus Christ. He showed, and, and I just did a word search on this, begotten. Mono James. It's M O N O M O N O G E N E S. Um, and it gets transliterated as mono kind. Mono is only kind. God gave us the uh, begotten uh, Yeshua, Yasha, Jesus, conveyed his essence. His kind through the earth suit of Christ. And it demonstrates it different ways. And then when Christ got baptized by John, Stalin was a Levitical high priest. And if anybody doesn't know that, they need to. He was a Levitical high priest. Uh, his father was a high priest before him, and John was destined to serve um, as a. Um, as the next high priest. Now imagine the change that would have happened with um, him sitting in, in that governmental place, because once you're a high priest, it's a lifetime. You live there for the lifetime, and you're the high priest for the whole um, habitation in Israel. Now he was cut off, the whole system was cut off with him when he was uh, beheaded. That's part of the political intrigue that went against the, uh, the establishment of God's kingdom on earth uh, at that time. Uh, you, do, you need to do your own research on this thing, but if you're not doing any research, you'll swallow the rat poison. Now this Jehovah's Witness guy, let me return to preaching about him just a little bit. I don't want to give him credibility. I want to build him up. I'm trying to explain why he is so uh, seductive. Because if he is Michael in the nurse suit, what do you expect? Great angel revelation. Always three words. Things all kinds of stuff. Angels speak revelation. New Age Consciousness, New Age Church. This stuff is not new, it's just being rolled out 40 years later. That's another generation. 40 years ago, this stuff started to show up, it's about 1970. So where is you guys? 70, 1980, 1990, 2000, 2010, 2020. So it's 50 years. It's a generation. They tried it. <coughs> Remember, the Aquarius. <coughs> Um, <coughs> some of you remember this song. I certainly played it a couple of times. When the moon is in the seventh house and Jupiter lands with Mars. I remember the song. Um, just the, 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 the words are just blasphemous. Um, and um, we just absorbed it. Okay? We already kicked God out of the schools. Remember, we did that. The Jehovah's Witnesses helped do that. Okay, evil fruit, evil root, and now they sent one of their own in an attempt to rule over us. Well, it's not going to happen on my watch, folks. With the help of the structure, first thing I'm going to do is get George a Bible. That's a promise on camera to you, George, on camera. Yeah, focus in. You want to make sure you're getting me in the... I got you. I got you. 
this and for all those other times. How much time do we have on this thing? 20 minutes and 4 seconds. Okay, well, I think what I need, I've said what I need to. Uh, yeah, Christ, the covenant in his blood, he shed lots of blood. And the angels can't do that. Okay.